In this video, I'm just going to quickly take you through the opt-in feature built into VidSkippy 2.0. Now, I have a test campaign set up here, so I'm just going to quickly run you through it. So, essentially what you can do is you can, you can use other people's videos, other people's websites to build your list if you want to. So, scroll down, look for opt-in form. Now you can use this in um, a video ad or just in somebody else's video. Again, you don't have to use video ads if you don't want to. So just to keep it easy, I'm just going to click here and then click edit. So this is one that I've messed around with before, but I'll take you through the whole process anyway. So I'll start at the beginning. You can use Aweber, GetResponse or MailChimp. All three of those autoresponders are integrated or will integrate with Fitskippy 2.0. But don't worry if you don't have any of those. So if you don't have Aweber, GetResponse or MailChimp, simply use your HTML form code. So if I click there, you can see I can just drop in the code there. Now pretty much any autoresponder is going to have form code. I'm just going to set this up uh, using Aweber because that's the autoresponder that I'm uh, I'm using right now. So what I would need to do is I would need to get the um, the ID. So again, because it's integrated, it's very easy. So I just come over to list options in Aweber and I would pick up this bit here like so and then drop that in there. Okay, so I already have the redirect URL. This is kind of the thank you page, if you like. So after somebody opts in, they're gonna end up on this page. Let me just uh, scroll down here. So background image. So if you did wanna have this um, this green, for example, you could, um, you could select a background image and then click there. And you could you could just pick that, for example. And you can see it's added there. But again, you know, you, you could just have that as a color if you uh, if you wanted to. And uh, the product image, let's say that we wanted to put a product image in there. So I'm just going to double click on here. And you can see that I've added in, um, sorry, the product image. Same process, you just um, click there and then choose from your um, location on your device and, uh, and just upload. So you can see that's added there. Um, the delay, I'm going to, I'm going to put that, just leave that 16 seconds, I think. Okay, and, um, and next we look at um, the styling. So no need to save at this point. And then we just go straight over to styling. And the headline color, well, let's have a look. I mean, it's already set up as a, as a pinky color, but uh, let's just make sure that's in place. I'll copy that. And... I've already written all the details in here, but just to um, just to clarify all of these details. So that relates to that. So the headline, you can change all of that. You can change the font. So any font you want to use, you can select there. Uh, the headline color, as you can see, I've just taken that. So that's this headline here. So that's the color of that. The sub header text, that's uh, this part down here. Now you can actually uh, change color of that as well if you wanted to just by using the color picker you could change the subheading font as well you can also change the subheading size so if you wanted to make that slightly bigger say 14 for example that's where you do it and uh, button colors so let's let's um I'll put that in there because similar to the headline maybe make it a little bit darker like so and the button text, obvious stuff. So click here to access free. Okay, so that's pretty much done. You can, again, with most elements in Viscipi 2.0, you can have an animation. So you can choose how you want this particular element to appear on the video. So it could be slide, it could be magic and so on. You can see there's a number of animations or categories, I should say, and then animations that will um, kind of determine from which position it appears from. So uh, slide left, slide down, slide up, slide right. Okay, and if you wanted to check any of these, um, any of these animations, uh, you could just click on there 
and you can see um, when you change the category it kind of changes the animation so I've not looked at this but let's just uh, run it to see okay so you can see just like that kind of a fade in effect and then save now what you need to do is just update this particular campaign and if I can remember which one that was I think it was this one yep so we'll copy this and then what I'll do is I'll drop it in here and you can see how it works so if I just uh, click here just to start this video now I think I set this for over 10 seconds so we will have to wait for just a little little bit of time there you go so you can see the um, the opt-in box pop up there so all I need to do here is put my email address in there and click the um, click here to access free and you can see it just works the same as any other opt-in form the only difference is it's inside a video